초등학생이 학교 근처에서 음주운전 차에 치어 숨지는 사고가 또 발생했습니다. 일명 민식이법을 발의했습니다. 보호구역에서 사망사고를 낼 경우 최대 무기징역에 처했습니다. South Korea is facing one of the biggest challenges on the road, vehicles speeding around the school zone. And in 2020, the lawmakers have finally passed an unprecedented law that hurting a child could get fined 30,000 or killing a child near school zone could result in a life sentence. So did the accident stop? Not really. Since the law passed in March, at least a dozen of children were either killed or hospitalized compared to other foreign countries where they implemented buses with stop signs and law enforcement for years, the South Korea has just started taking actions. But they can't follow the same procedure since it takes years to build the safe infrastructure. But we found a German artist named Simon Weckert who succeeded in artificial traffic with 90 smartphones with navigation app tuned on. Inspired this, we found a simple way to prevent accidents. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transport of Korea and Naver introduces the reroute billboards. We're going to find schools with the highest accident rates and install billboards around the school with used smartphones. During 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. when kids go in and out of the school, the billboard will automatically turn on all the navigation app and start creating an artificial traffic rerouting drivers to go around the school zone. It's simple, right? And since most Korean drivers use navigation apps, the reroute billboard is the fastest way to reintroduce the accidents without spending much money on law enforcement or hiring volunteers to guide students at all times. A law can influence the drivers only so much, but the navigation can do more than we realize.